Well, after having understood what is heritage and how UNESCO provides a definition of natural heritage and cultural heritage, and among the cultural heritage, the tangible and the intangible, we are now ready to enter in the management itself. This is the course of heritage management. We need to understand what management is. Administration, organization and measurement are the three pillars of management itself. Administration, the resources that are involved in the management process, organization of the same resources in order to be effective and efficient, and finally the measurement. Measurement is quite important. We need to measure the situation where we are and the result of any kind of activity we need to organize and implement in order to provide the effectiveness and efficiency of the activity organized. Therefore, we need to collect many tools coming from different subjects and branch of research in management that are useful and effective in order to manage heritage. In fact, managing the heritage and managing the heart has something particular and different compared with the traditional management activities in other kinds of products. Managing the heritage, therefore, is different from managing traditional goods for many reasons. First of all, we are talking about hedonic consumption, hedonic goods, goods that we buy, we experience, we use, not because of a functional reason, but because we want to live an experience. We are in the middle of a temple and uh, we don't come here because we need, but we come here because we want to live an experience. And this is quite important and peculiar in the mind of the director, the marketer, the manager of these sites in order to provide a proper service to the final visitors. Then we need to consider a second aspect. The second aspect is the fact that we have a so-called double market. On one side we need to refer thanks to the fundraising, to the people that provide money, provide the resources to implement the management tools and the activity inside the site. And on the other side, we need to consider our target, the visitor, the people that come here to visit the museum. So this double market, on one side collecting the resource and on the other side relating with the customer, the visitor, makes managing the heritage something completely peculiar. Third, we have another peculiarity of heritage management, which is the difficulty of measurement. It's difficult to measure the emotions, it's difficult to measure the effectiveness of a project. In this archaeological site, we allow people with disabilities to appreciate, appropriate and being immersed in the temple. At the same time, organizing uh, an activity in this uh, context uh, requires specific uh, um, activities and characteristics in order to understand uh, the reaction and the appreciation of the visitors inside uh, a site like this. Therefore, giving the, um, and acknowledging the growing role of the heritage in the world system, UNESCO itself provides a sort of guide to managing the heritage itself. There are many uh, suggestions and best practices that the UNESCO give and provide to all the heritage sites that are listed in the World Heritage List. One, for example, is relating the value-led approach in managing the heritage that simply state that uh, you need to first collect data then assessing the meaning and the significance and then assessing the condition of the heritage site and finally to develop a proper plan. Then there are other uh, suggestions and best practices that come from the market, we can say, for example, there is a national trust, which is an important trust that uh, preserves heritage in Great Britain and Northern Ireland and Scotland. And, uh, uh, for example, national trusts adopt a so-called triple, triple bottom line approach in any kind of decision that the national trust implement every single day. It means that every single activity that the national trust wants to organize, an acquisition of a new heritage site or a new campaign in terms of promotion, an agreement with a uh, donors uh, or a uh, company needs to be analyzed according to the impact of this decision on environment, people and of course uh, finance. So the three pillars that build up this tri triple bottom uh, line approach. So we know what heritage is and what roughly can be described as management. We understand now that managing heritage is peculiar and uh, important to be considered a part 
And then we will develop in the due course of the lectures, which are the single tools, the single branch of research that can help a manager to be able to be effectively and efficiently able to manage an heritage site, a museum or a theater. We will talk about the service, so importance of service providing, what is the service dominant logic, what is the service management deserve action. We will talk about brand, the importance of brand, how to capitalize the brand and how to measure the brand effectiveness of uh, the uh, work of art. We will talk about the experience, how to approach the experience, to enter in the experience, to appropriate the experience and to evaluate it. We will, actually, we will finally talk about uh, the social impact, which are the tools to measure the social impact or investment in arts, or uh, how to measure the effectiveness of a social media campaign or a communication campaign. I do hope that this course of heritage management, thanks to the best practice coming from the information that the director of cultural institution will provide us, the example, the theory and the tools and method that the previous research has already developed, will create and will be actually a proper handbook for a good heritage management for the future.